you know, I only, I was putting very little pressure down, you know, I'm coming, I'm coming down with this and we're only, we're only putting, I don't know where I'm, like you can feel it, you can feel like it contact there yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm like here. So like that's the biggest question as everybody gets is, or, or I get or any of those guys is, you know, how do you, how do you keep the, the oil can down and you do that. And then you, you adjust your die depth, you make it wider or skinnier or, you know, depending on what you're doing. And then you just keep adding to that, but you just, you just kind of, you can use the same pressures if you want, you know, you, you want to keep that pressure minimum and go over it and over it. And, okay. and also like do all your features, that, you know, at once. I did like four or five, I think I did five total passes on this, you know, with different depths and different die setups. You know, yeah. the boss man at the auto body yeah. shop might be pissed if you do. <laughs> Spend three hours. So on you know, it, it all depends on the project you're doing. But if you want that 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 warp out, you know, this is this is yeah. almost flat. You know, it's almost perfectly flat. Somebody said something about starts and stops. Uh, if you want to get rid of those stop start and stop points, keep keep one hand on this guy, and just you know bring it down to you feel a little bit. You know that resistance. And keep keep this flat, okay. you know. Resistance with this like flat. Yeah. If you if you let it do this, it'll just tip. Yep. So hold it. You feel that? Start moving, and then just bring your pressure on as you're going slow, and then that that pressure fades in. Okay. So you don't get that little kink. Right. You know, you see, yep. you yep. take a panel and put it in the sunlight, and you're like, oh, I got those all these little corner kinks or start and stop kinks around the border. You just you do that, and then you know go around your part and then when you're finished and you get back you just as you're rolling you're gonna pull that off so a big a big factor in this is you know make sure this is you know nice and lubed up and you don't have like a tight spot um, so yeah then we can just we can keep playing with this one and we can we can adjust this this depth you know and make it a little We'll make it a little a little wider now and we'll come in and we'll do another pass but we won't we won't put a ton of pressure in so we'll tighten that I like I like the like infinite amount of adjustment that's nice so we'll open that up a little more and then we'll come back and we can make a, a second pass And we'll just add that pressure and get to the corner. And, and you can kind of add a little more pressure as you see fit. Once, once, once you get to the point where it, you know, it if you gotta like tug on it, yeah. it, you're you're putting too much pressure on. You know, if you gotta if you gotta jerk, because as soon as you do that, you're gonna see it in the end product. You're you're jerking around, or you're you're needing two hands to spin it because you just have the thing you know, smash down a, a quarter inch to get this big deep bead. Well, if you just make, do it, do it a couple times. And, and normally what's nice about the second, you know, third, fourth, fifth pass, whatever, however many you want to do, uh, you already have your, once you get that original line established, it's nice to follow, you know, it's kind of, it kind of, it kind of, this top die almost kind of falls in. So that first lap around, you know, maybe maybe go a little extra slow and and get all those spots nice but uh yeah so i made i made a few of these i scribed them out on my plasma table at home it's kind of my it's kind of my thing when i go do like training things is this little nerd emoji uh i'm kind of like the nerdy fabricator so it's kind of my it's my it's the little icon i use on instagram and everything so this is actually, this is the same material that I, that I made this out of, this uh, anodized uh, aluminum, and it's got a plastic coating on it, so that's why you see it's a little, a little different color. But we're going to do that, that same process that we kind of did on that steel. I'm going to start out and just go nice and slow. Now, do you typically work like from the center game, or do you, do you, um, do you give it much thought? No, I don't, I don't, I'll normally, I'll normally frame it last. Okay. Just okay. not, not, la not last like of the whole project, but 
So like, so, like when I you I, like I just set this dice. Step. Yep. Yeah. So I set I set this dice set up at the width I want, you know, that I like, and then I'm gonna run everything. But I'll, I'll probably do like I'll probably start with the circle because this I normally try and start with something that's a little easier, you know. Maybe you haven't used this thing in a in a week and yeah. you got to get that feel back for the pressure. So maybe you know I, I like doing circles like a, a nice bigger circle like that. It's okay. they they're nice and kind of easy and and then you get the feel before you get into these tiny tight, tight corners and the goofy stuff um, so I find that's helpful and, and another thing is uh, you know if you're take your take your panels and, and you know clean the edges you know DA the edges sand them file them whatever do something so you don't have all those burrs so you get that burr to catch on this or if you have a table you get that now that's one more thing that you're you're fighting and you don't have that nice fluid motion going all the time so we'll just get, get going nice and slow there, and I'm just going to add a little pressure until I see. It's kind of hard to see with that plastic, but make a little more. And then you can, this, this is a little easier, you know, if I, if you, you can, if you have a table set up, you can just kind of smash your hand down into it and put some pressure on it and just kind of hold that. And I'll kind of walk. I, I can do it in the air, too. You can just kind of, you know, twist it with your fingers and kind of walk it nice and even. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a just li very faint right there. So I kind of I think I was you know kind of here, and you'll establish that you know you find that pressure that you like, and you'll you'll get that feel, but you'll also kind of remember that location. You'll be like, all right, I'm three quarters of a turn past here, you know, or you'll get that feeling, and you can return to that spot, and then it'll it'll make it uh, a little more fluid. And then we'll do I'll do this guy out here. The one thing about, about scribing is uh, you scribe it, and uh, when you screw up, everybody's going to know because, you know, when you take a Sharpie, you can erase that Sharpie line. You know, I could, I could erase the Sharpie on that other one we just did, and you'll never know. I wasn't meaning to do that, but if I screw this up, people are going to know. So there. Now we've got now we've got established. And it's 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 very faint. You can you can barely feel that, you know. So but we're just we just want to kind of get everything started. And then after that we'll come over and we'll we'll do it all again we'll, and then we'll we'll raise it all up. And and that would probably this will probably discourage, you know, some people they go, man, you know, you just I want that result quick. You gotta you gotta slow down and get patience. Because once we're done, you know, it'll it can look like this. The, you know, it can it can look like this and be all curvy and flowy and different depths. You know, it's thick here and it's skinny here and it's coming in and it's going out. And that's what all the different, uh, that's what all the different passes are going to get you the opportunity to do. Get over to the the corners here, and you'll kind of fade it in. I don't, in the tight corners, some, sometimes you you got to look at this as you know it's a bead roller. You get it in these spots, and you're like, man, how am I going to turn that? How am I going to do this? Sometimes I'll literally take this and just do this, you know, ding, 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 you know, to get that that final little weird spot. You're like, I can't turn that. I can't. I can't get that. Yeah, you basically turn it into a little a little press, you know, and you just hit that, hit that, hit that spot, and then you can get out of there. So don't, don't get, you know, you're doing a face and the pupil's this big, you know. You might be able to kind of cheat some of those spots and just kind of work your way around it. At the end of the day, you know, you're, you're, you're working metal. Right. So, you know, you got to think past just this machine and what, you know, it's, it's use the tool how you see fit, really.
might cheat. Don't tell. Don't tell Jamie. And you, you can always look at the back, and if, if the back looks decent, the front probably looks better, is generally how I look at it. And then uh, another, another useful tip, I, I always tell this to, to everybody that asks me you know, stuff about bead rolling. On a step die setup, which is, I guess I, we didn't establish that, we're, we're using a step setup, not a traditional, uh, you know, your traditional style bead like this that people think of. We're doing, a, we're doing a step, so what we're doing is it's two offset dies, and we're putting pressure like this, and then that's raising that. I always look at it as, and this helps me, the bottom die, whatever side the bottom die is on, that side's coming up. Okay. So like, if I want to raise this circle, if we want to raise this circle, the bottom die is going to be on the inside of this and the top die is going to be on the outside. And then that just, that was my trick years ago to just, you know, you start grabbing stuff like this and, you know, someone new might be, you know, they, they don't even know which side's going to go where and how to do this. And so I, that really helped me was the bottom die on a step is, is coming up. If, and we can flip this. Mm -hmm. We can flip these around and go the other way. And then that side's going to raise up. So then you would need to hold this panel like in here and roll it the other way. So it'd be awkward. Same Where sometimes, it's a little yeah, sometimes you know you want to work out here. You got a big panel, and you're doing stuff. You know you want you want to swing it out here in the open. If you have it in here, you're gonna you're gonna swing it in and then you're gonna bottom it out on the body. So you can swap them over. So and sometimes you you can do half of it and you got to take your dies and swap them and then put it on this side of the body and then finish the other half. So that's probably one of my favorite okay. pieces of advice is that that one will tell you where the metal's moving. Oh, where were we? I didn't finish that. I really, I, I, I like this a lot. This is, this is nice. I, th I think, I think, I think toss a table on here and it'll be it'll be sweet. I'm just kind of touching those up. Let's try these goofy eyeballs. And and you can just go really slow on this stuff. You know, when you get into these these weird little tight ones, you can just go slow. And if you want, I know I've, I used to watch Lazzy, uh, Lazzy videos back. There was, there was like no YouTube videos other than Lazzy doing all his wild coach building stuff, and then uh, and then some of Jamie Jordan's stuff. And uh, Lazzy would would sit there and he would click the pedal, you know. And you can do that too. And people might think it might make like a rocky, a thing, but it it really doesn't because you you still just you roll on it. Yep. So, so you can kind of, if, if you're in these, those little tight spots, you can kind of just, you know, tap, tap, tap the pedal over and over again. Did you see there? I was I was kind of pulling it out as we got to that point. I'm trying to I'm trying to get that point so we don't have those crossovers, and that's really what helps when you do that first that first pass, and you you kind of tighten the dies up and you don't use a ton of pressure. You can kind of get in there, 
And then like the next time I go, maybe I don't, maybe I fade it out a little before the point, before I get to the point. So it's not putting full pressure on at the point. And that'll, that'll help you not get those, those, um, whatever we were calling. <laughs> Keep, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm terrible with terminology. Kinks. Yeah, kinks. That's what we were saying. We got the glasses, we got the eyeballs, we got that. I think you gotta do this, and then maybe we'll rip some of that plastic off and just see. I, I might. So like, I'll, I'll go to this corner and you know maybe put like half pressure on to just start, because you obviously can't do what I was saying with your starts and stops when you're going from point to point. Okay. You know, you have to come down and put your, your pressure in. So maybe, maybe I just don't put it all the way to that. You know, I'm kind of like here where I was going. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just, We'll start it there and then and then work our way up there and then go. But you're still not cranking. Yeah, we're still not crank cranking it. And then get there. Yeah, that's looking, looking decent. All right, cool. See, so sometimes you look at the backside and you're like a little, I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. Open those up a little and then we'll come in and we'll do it all over again. <laughs> Doing this side of it definitely takes a lot of patience. Faded that out, and now, now you can, now you can kind of see that that's definitely deeper there now than yeah. that last one was. But we didn't, we we didn't, we don't have any oil canning. I, I only, I have that original like this from the plasma table and the heat, but we're not twisted. So that's what we can, we can see. It's just doing this, and it's doing this. And normally when, when you're done, you can kind of, you know, just kind of put it against your shirt or your leg or this, and you can kind of get those those out the, um that was just too much heat on the plasma table i really like that pedal yeah so we got that one done now uh now we'll, we'll, I'll just do one more. We won't go. We won't go like 18, 18 passes. I'll do one more and just kind of bubble up some of the the bigger features. It's working really well. I, like the dies, the dies are nice and smooth, so they're not just like eating it up. I was, I'm actually really surprised. It's still like, the only spot that I got a little nick is right, uh, I, I whipped that corner right there as fast as I could turn it. I mean, it was like, and I just got that little nick there. So that's, uh, I, I, I could have just let off pressure and not hit that spot so hard and it wouldn't even have shown that. But now we're really getting that, that circle. See the, so the circle, we're really, really getting some nice rounded over. So now I've, I, we've, we've done what, like three die width changes. And now, you know, I was, I was here and then I was in a little bit and then I was in a little more and now we're here. And that's probably where I have to stop because now I'm, I'm going to start hitting that existing one that I had. I think I already might have lifted it a hair, that little line I had there. Um, so that's as far as we can go in with that. And then the same for this. You don't, you don't want to make this die separation be more than half the width of this little this little area because if if your if your dies are too wide 
and you have the top die running on this line, your bottom die is going to be going to be way out here in the middle of nowhere. And then when you come back to do this side, you're going to be out, do the same. So really your die separation should be half or less of like the smallest feature you want to you want to get into there. So that's why I said, you know, round 1 we did everything. Yep. Round 2, you know, I didn't do the teeth again cuz those were kind of hard and I knew that it was going to be a, a goofy spot. You know, and then and then round 4 or whatever, the last round I only just did this. You know, I just wanted to raise this. So you you do it in these steps and you know, the first one's the most important and the second one you can kind of skip a few things three, four, you know, however far you want to go. We, we could sit here all day and we could, we could make this thing wild. And you'll get to a point where it will be like that's as far as the metal can go right. and it will start doing weird stuff. But yeah, we're, we're still like pretty much a flat panel. You know, we're, that's some good stretch there. It's got some depth. It's, you know, you can feel it pretty, pretty well. Um, and it's not doing this. So that's the goal. And I'm actually, yeah, those, those, actually worked really well on that. I thought it was going to tear it all up. So I would say good job. I like it a lot.